Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC feature video. Today we're going to be looking at the MSI GE70 and the MSI GE60. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing some benchmarking for performance and we're going to be doing some stress testing so that we can see how well the system cools when placed in a worst case scenario for heat. So some things to make note of is that right now running these benchmarks, both systems are in out of the box condition, meaning that the thermal paste is the stock installation, not anything aftermarket, and that we actually have overclocked the GPU. We have the GPU core at 970 megahertz and the memory at 15,015 megahertz. So we've increased the uh, demand to the GPU to make it run hotter than it normally would, but we also do have the turbo fan on, so we have the fan running at 100% speed right now. So running 3D Mark Vantage, what we've got here is we have a performance score of 12,882 on this system, which is quite nice. Keep in mind, these numbers are being produced by a single NVIDIA GTX 660 mobile with an overclock on it. The maximum temperature we were able to achieve during that benchmark was 72 degrees Celsius on the GPU, which is very, very cool. Now moving over to the little brother, the GE60. Same stats as far as the GPU and CPU. So you're looking at the GTX 660 mobile and the i7 3610 quad mobile. And we're also running the exact same overclock as before with the fan on to 100% speed just like before. So we matched all the settings. And 3D Mark Vantage on this system only managed to get up to 77 degrees Celsius and a performance score of 12,972. Here's your overclock numbers. 970 on the core, 15,015 on the memory. And for reference, here's the ambient temperatures in the room right now. A little over 80 in Fahrenheit and about 25 in Celsius. And now it's time to get cooking with Furmark. This is the ultimate, most devastating, most intensive GPU benchmark you can possibly run. It actually has a history of frying GPU cards to their death. And we're running the burn-in right now, the ultimate burn-in test, 1920 by 1080. Same setup as before, stock thermal paste, the fans are on 100% speed. And what we're testing here is for the maximum temperatures we can achieve under the maximum load possible. Right now on the GE60, we're at 81 degrees Celsius maximum load. This is Formark 1.9.2, the newest version out right now. And you can see that the benchmark has been running for over 13 minutes at this point. Same overclock as before as well. Nine hundred and seventy on the core, fifteen thousand fifteen on the memory. Pretty significant overclock. If you take a look here at the uh, GPU Z, you can see how everything's pretty much maxed out. GPU is loading at ninety nine percent. You see that everything else is loaded up as well. And now over to the GE seventy. Again, same setup. We got the fan locked to 100% with the turbo fan feature, stock thermal paste, running the Furmark Ultimate Burn In benchmark. And the maximum temperature we've been able to achieve so far is 87 degrees Celsius. And right now we have a total running benchmark time of almost 14 minutes and 30 seconds. And again, same overclock, 970 megahertz on the core, 15,015 on the memory. GPU-C verification, you can see how everything's maxed out on the load. So that's gonna do it everybody. This video is short, sweet, and right to the point. Now you know exactly what to expect out of these two laptops as far as performance with an overclock and exactly what to expect as far as temperatures when in a worst case scenario. 
If you have any more questions or you would just like to learn more about these laptops, then you can just head right to the GentechPC.com website and we'll be more than happy to help you. So we hope you enjoyed this feature video. Once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.